This is 7 News at 4.30. Drivers with another wet ride as residents all across South Florida hope for drier days. Sky force over some flooded fields where animals too are dealing with these flooded conditions. The Broward County bus station soaked. This is what drivers had to go through before heading out on their routes this morning. Good afternoon. Dozens of swamp schools canceled in-person classes. That's right, and some campuses are still dealing with power problems and even some damage. Let's go to 7's Jessica Holly. She's live outside of the middle school in Miami Gardens. Jessica? In Miami-Dade County, the biggest problem looks like this, flooding around the schools. In Broward County, the issue goes beyond that, and dozens of schools across South Florida told the kids to stay home today. All the poor drivers are going to need boats to get to their buses this morning. South Florida schooling facing another challenge. It seems that 2020 continues to bring us surprises. At least 50 schools calling off in-house classes thanks to the soaking from Tropical Storm Ada. In Miami-Dade County, 17 schools affected, most of them in the northern part of the county. Even though we cannot report any significant damage uh, to any one of our schools, uh, there were disruptions in our community. In the form of flooding, flooding that would have made getting to school a challenge for students and staff. Check out the flooding. Schools closed Tuesday included American Senior High in Hialeah, Barbara Goldman Senior in Miami Lakes, and in Miami Gardens, Carroll City Senior High and Lake Stevens Elementary and Middle Schools. Easy to see the issue here. In all, about 7,000 students in Miami-Dade County shifted to online learning Tuesday. In Broward County, 23 schools did the same. The situation there more severe with reports of flooding and roof leaks on campus. Some schools without air conditioning, others without power. Still plenty of water sitting at Silver Trail Middle School in Southwest Ranches. It was closed Tuesday along with Silver Palms Elementary in Pembroke Pines. And West Broward High School right now looks like it sits on lakefront property. The whole campus is soaked. While it may be days before some students in Broward are able to return to class, Miami-Dade is expecting all schools to reopen Thursday. The fact that tomorrow is a holiday gives us additional time for us to reinspect schools, but based on the assessments we got yesterday and based on additional inspections today, I'm very confident that when we return uh, Thursday, all uh, school sites uh, will reopen and we will have a regular school day. Now keep in mind right now less than 25% of students in Broward County are actually attending in-person learning. So this is less of a disruption than it would have been in a regular year. For a complete list of all the schools affected by Ada, go to our website. We have the information at WSBN.com. We're live in Miami Gardens. Jessica Holly, 7 News.